So this is what my hair looked like before I started the challenge. And this is one month later of putting my hair in cornrows. There's so much growth guys, so much growth. So I've shared with you guys in my previous videos some of the things I've been using while doing this challenge. I am here with another video. If you think you'll be interested in this video, then keep on watching. hello and welcome back to my channel if you're new or an og you are most welcome so today i'll be sharing another recipe on how to make your own rice water the right way yes i said the right way because there are so many recipes out there on how to make rice water but this is my favorite we all know that rice water works but the problem we have is that smell you get during the fermentation process this recipe is going to eliminate that smell you get from fermenting your rice water it's not the first time i'm doing this recipe it's not my second thought neither is it my fourth so yeah it works guys as usual you're going to need some fresh aloe vera juice then you're going to need some lemon juice as well aloe vera has so many active ingredients and minerals it is rich in fatty acid and amino acid it is also rich in vitamin a b12 c and e which promotes healthy hair follicles aloe vera significantly reduces the scaliness and itchiness as a result of dandruff and any other hair infection lemon is rich in antioxidants essential vitamins and citric acid a form of vitamin c which helps to balance the ph of the scalp to keep dandruff at bay it also strengthens your hair follicles eliminates excess oils in the scalp that leads to buildup and scalp flakes it also helps to prevent any adverse reaction and inflammation on the scalp which reduces the risk of dandruff we all know rice is a powerhouse. It is rich in protein, antioxidants, and essential minerals like iron, zinc, magnesium, and potassium, which promotes faster hair growth. Like you also, I extracted my aloe vera gel and my lemon juice before adding my rice into it. Now I'm going to be fermenting it for 24 hours so this is what it looks like after over 24 hours i actually fermented it for over 24 hours and it is looking like this guys there is no smell it's just amazing you guys should try this and let me know what you think in the comment section down below you actually do not need to refrigerate this i have done it severally i have left it for over two weeks and it was still fine it didn't change color the smell was still very very normal it's just something that works guys rice aloe vera and lemon works perfectly you can also do without the lemon but i'm going to explain the reason why i decided to use aloe vera lemon and rice so once you're done sieving, you can add any essential oil of your choice. As usual, I like to use tea tree oil. You can use peppermint oil, lavender, just any essential oil of your choice. You can even add any hair growth oil of your choice. It's all up to you. Transfer it into your spray bottle and you're good to go. So I'm going to share with you guys how I apply this to my hair and also show you guys my progress so far. Like I told you guys, I'll be leaving my hair in Conroe for three months and this is my one month update. This is where I'm at. There's actually so much growth. I'm grateful for that. So if you want to know my progress, guys, subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video if you can. This will help me um, grow. Thank you. There's actually so much growth, guys. This is what my hair looked like at the beginning of this challenge. 
so the reason why i'm using lemon and aloe vera to ferment my rice is because i discovered that lemon tends to help my aloe vera maintain the same uh, color aloe vera tends to water down with time and the color also changes but the lemon helps to maintain the color while the aloe vera helps to eliminate that smell you get from fermenting your rice water it's actually a win-win situation if you ask me because all three products are really really good i actually don't know the science behind it but all i know is it works guys give it a try and let me know what you think in the comment section i would love to get your feedback like I said, it's not my first time of doing this, it's not my second, third, and it's not even my tenth. So yeah, I've done this before, I've been doing it, and it's been working. Let me know what you think in the comment section. So this is my one month progress. I still have two more months to go. I have so many DIYs that I will be using and I will be sharing with you guys. So if you don't want to miss out on any of my recipe, then subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video if you can and turn on your notification bell so you know when my next video is up because I upload every Friday 5pm Nigerian time. Thank you. And that's it on this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a thing. Until next time guys, please don't forget to stay safe. See you in my next video.